In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a speech bubble like this in Premiere Pro using an image that you find online or one that you create in Adobe Photoshop. So first we're going to be using an image that you might find online. You can find these speech bubbles for free just searching on Google. And this one has a white background. And so I'm going to show you how to get rid of that bike white background so that it's just a black speech bubble. I'll also show you how to use this one to create a white speech bubble. Then I'll later be showing you how to create a speech bubble in Photoshop without the background. This is coming from a question from one of my students, Yuri, who's in my Adobe Premiere Pro course. So thanks for the question. And now let's just get started. So first I have this image, whether it's a JPEG or a PNG, it doesn't matter if it has a white background. When you bring it into your video timeline, it's still going to have this white background. So how do we get rid of that white background? One thing we can do is change the blend mode. So select your image, the speech bubble image, go up to effects controls, under opacity, change the blend mode from normal to darken. Now you can see if I move it around under my motion tab, I can move the position up and down. You can see that I can move the speech bubble around. Now this would look great if the background of this video was lighter. Because the background of the video is darker, it's this gray backdrop that I use, the black speech bubble doesn't look too great. So I would like to invert this. Now you could go online and try to find a white speech bubble, but it's easier to just to do this right here within Premiere Pro. So what you can do is go to your effects, type in invert under channel, under the video effects is this invert and that will invert the color. So I'm just going to add this here. Now that looks a little funky, but let me change the opacity from dark and back to normal. And you'll see now that this image is a black background with a white speech bubble. So how do we get rid of the black background in an image like this? We change the blend mode from normal to screen. So now we have this white bubble. That screen blend mode removes all of the black parts of the image. So now we can move this around and do anything that you want like that. Okay, so that is how you create a white transparent speech bubble. So let's go into Photoshop and I'll show you how to actually create one uh, of your own. So if you have Premiere Pro, if you're using Creative Cloud, you can have, you probably have access to Adobe Photoshop as well. So go over to Photoshop, choose your custom tool. So over here you have your shape option, hold that down and click custom shape. Then what you're going to want to do is go up to the shape options up here and already inside Photoshop installed, you should have this speech bubble option right here. Now we'll have to change the fill and the stroke. So with the fill, choose fill and choose this little white box with the red line through it. That means no fill. So it's going to be transparent. And then the stroke, you could change to whatever color you want. Maybe we want a light blue, something like that. And then next to stroke, you have your stroke width in points. And so you can use the slider or type in the points that you want. Now go to your composition. So you might have to start a new project if you need to. And then just click and drag. And then you can take your selection tool, resize, rotate, do anything else that you need in Photoshop. Say we need to reverse this. We can go to image or edit rather, transform, flip, horizontal. And that's going to reverse this speech bubble. Now we have to save this, but before we save this, let's turn off the background. So the background will be transparent. Now you can save it as a Photoshop file or a PNG. A Photoshop file will be larger, but it will be better to use the Photoshop file because then we can actually edit the size and color of this later on, and I'll show you that. So let me just save this as the speech bubble. So I'll just save it, put it on my desktop, 
now in Premiere Pro, if I go to my project bin and I import, just by double clicking in this window, you can import, I will import the speech bubble PSD file. That's going to import the file. It's going to ask merge all layers. Yes, merge all layers. We don't really need that background. I could have actually just deleted that background. And then I could just drop this onto my timeline. And there you have it. You have this light blue speech bubble. You can double click right here in the composition window, move it around. You can increase the size, decrease the size. If you increase the size, it will get pixelated. So you might want to actually create the speech bubble a little bit larger, something like 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels would be good for most types of video. Now I just want to show you how quickly and easy it is to edit the speech bubble. So I'm just going to save my project, go back to Photoshop and say, I don't like that color. I can go back to my shape tool, my stroke, and change the color to white. I think white will just be better. Let me save this, go back to Photoshop, to Premiere Pro, and it's automatically changed to the white outline. So those are a couple different ways to create a speech bubble for Premiere Pro. You can find them on Google. You can create one of your own in Photoshop. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. The last thing you would do is just add your text. So you would have to use your text tool, just use your title tool, add a new title and write your text within the speech bubble. Or you could even do that within Photoshop and create separate speech bubble graphics for different text. But I think it might be better for you to just do it within Premiere Pro so that you can change the text, but leave the same speech bubble on the timeline throughout the text and throughout the different words that you want to pop up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in another video. Please check out videoschoolonline.com for more premium courses and tutorials.